Hey guys, this is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's crochet slay is on these gorgeous, beautiful purple faux locks that I am wearing. Yes, I say a purple. Your girl finally went there. I stepped all the way outside of my comfort zone and went with purple hair. This is my version of Boho Chic Fun Festival hair and y'all, they were loving this style at the Falcons game. So I think this is perfect for a festival or an event. If you want to see how I achieve this easy, effortless crochet faux lock look, then definitely keep watching. Now, Divatrust.com sent me this hair to review for them. They sent me six packs. I only ended up using three. And uh, this is the Janet Collection Two-Time Havana Mambo Faux Locks. The curly hair, I used the Free Trust Go Go Curl in the color purple. I thought that was a really pretty curl pattern uh, to mix in with the faux locks. For my braiding pattern, I use my Miko Method braiding pattern with a row of individuals in the front. And I have five big corn rolls going straight to the back and I connect the ends in the back and sew them down. I am letting my shave sides grow out, so I just tame those with a little bit of Eco Styling Gel. Now there is a technique for installing these faux locks because the loop is kind of small. So you just insert the crochet needle underneath your corn roll like you normally would, hook the loop of the faux lock on the crochet needle, push the hair down the latch, and put the end of the lock and the hook and then pull the loop over the end of the hair and just pull the end through. So that will save you a lot of time as opposed to trying to open up that small loop and pulling the end of the hair through. And it's also gonna keep your loop intact. So initially I was going to install two faux locks and then one section of the go go curl. And so in the back is what I started doing. So when I installed the go go curl to make it not, to make the knot stay, um, I looped the hair or not knotted the hair about four times and I then grabbed the hair at the base of the knot, right above the knot, and I kind of frizz it out a little bit to give the hair some friction to give the knot something to keep it secure. So here you see I have the faux locks and the go-go curls installed. Uh, you can see I left a lot of space because this hair gets really, really heavy and the faux locks take up a lot of space. So definitely space the hair maybe two finger widths apart and go back and fill in any gaps as necessary. So initially I decided to install the faux locks and the go-go curl together, but I didn't know if I would like the go-go curls. So I decided to just go ahead and crochet in all of the faux locks and then add in the go-go curl uh, at the end where I wanted the cascading curls to kind of pop through and blend with the, the faux locks. And this is how the finished look came together, you guys. I really, really love this. If this color was a deeper purple, I would definitely wear this to work. But this color is so fun and so festive. It is perfect for a festival or a special event. I loved rocking it at the Falcons game today. And I am so appreciative to Diva Trust for sending me this hair to review. So big shout out to Diva Trust. As I said before, divatrust.com sent me this hair to review. They sent me six packs of hair. I only ended up using three. And this hair is $9.95 a pack and you get 24 locks in a pack. So because I have the shade size and the undercut, I only needed three packs. But if you are doing a full head, I would recommend five to six packs um, to achieve this style. Of course, the faux locks are pre loops I really like that because it was a super fast install. It only took me about an hour to achieve this look. And then I just kind of added in the go-go curl wherever I wanted um, a little pop of the curl, the cascading curl to show. And I added in some hair beads and accessories that I got from my local beauty supply store. Uh, they were really, really affordable, like maybe, I think they were 99 cents a pack. And they had some really, really cute styles so the beauty supply stores are really, you know, getting kind of stepping up their game with the hair accessories you can add on. So you can really uh, create some really cute and creative styles um, by just adding in some hair accessories. I like that this hair is really soft and it's not irritating when it rubs on your shoulders and your back and it doesn't irritate your skin like some faux locks can. Uh, but the hair is also sturdy. So even though it's soft, it's sturdy enough to where you're not going to have problems with frizzing and the hair unraveling um, all prematurely. So I really like the hair. It has a nice sheen to it. So it's a really pretty uh, faux lock. I really like it. It was super duper easy to install with the pre-loop. That's why I like working with pre-looped hair. And it's also easy to take out pre-looped hair. So th this one is quick and effortless. So I think you're really going to like that if that's something that you're looking for. My only con with this hair is that this hair can get heavy and it's also hot. So the Atlanta Falcons had an open practice today and my husband and I went and we parked a couple blocks down from the stadium and just walked down to the stadium and it was like 95 degrees today and I could really feel the heat from this hair on my neck and down my back. So it's super, super hot. 
so I probably wouldn't recommend this hair uh, for a summer vacation, particularly if you are going to be swimming because this hair can get heavy uh, without any being saturated with water. So if you, if you plan on getting in the pool, you probably don't want to wear this hair, um, but I would highly recommend it for the cooler temperatures like in the fall or the winter. I think that would be a perfect time to rock this particular look. At the Falcons game today, I got tons of compliments on this hair. People were complimenting me like crazy. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to like the way it turned out. This is my first time ever trying uh, to achieve like a goddess lock look and mixing in two different types of crochet braids together. But I like the way it turned out and I love the jewels. It has a really boho chic uh, feel to it. I think this hair would be perfect for um, some a festival or a concert or a special event. It's just a super fun look look you know life is too short to have boring hair so you know just go for it you can switch it up this hair is pre-looped so it's easy to put in it's easy to take out so if you're going to take a risk I would say definitely do it uh, with this particular uh, hair or any pre-looped hair so you guys I hope you enjoyed uh, my version of the gypsy boho chic faux lock look I love it. I'm definitely going to leave a link below uh, to where you can purchase this here from divatrust.com. Please make sure you like, comment, and share. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get fit and fabulous right along with the crew. So, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think about this look, if you're feeling it, if you're feeling the color. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get right back at you. Until the next video, you already know what I'm going to say. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and fabulous. All right, booze. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.